Joining us tonight in the mystery surrounding the missing mom, Michelle Fiore with WBBM News Radio 780. What happened? Well, uh, the latest information I have for you, Nancy, is that I did speak with Plainfield Police this afternoon, and they tell me that tips are now coming into their department, and that is significant because over the weekend when I first met with the deputy police chief, he told me they had nothing at that point. They were desperate for leads, and now they are finally coming into the station. Eiding says any lead, uh, even say one that may seem insignificant to people, can be just the tip that they're looking for, and that can help bring Lisa Stebbick home to her family. Jane, what were the circumstances of her disappearance? Well, it was April 30th was the last time that she was seen and she works at a school cafeteria so she reported for work that day they saw her her husband is the last one that says he saw her late in the afternoon on April 30th he said, said that she normally would leave in the evening to go do exercise she'd come back 10 30 or 11 she was never seen again her children though and there are two children have the same story that the father has that the last time they saw their mother was late in that afternoon so to you Michelle Fiore with 780 WBBM News Radio both children who are allegedly out buying some candy, the father says he was working in the yard when she went jogging or to work out, they back up the dad's claim he saw her at 6 p.m.? We have not spoken with the children at this point. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you repeat. Uh, we have not spoken with the children at this point. What, do, uh, what can you tell me about the husband refusing a polygraph, Michelle Fiore? You know what, Craig Stebick uh, declined to take a polygraph test that was offered to him by the Plainfield Police Department. Uh, it was on the advice of his attorney, who is also his divorce attorney in the proceedings that he filed against Lisa Stebick in uh, this past January. Police tell us that uh, besides Craig, uh, other family members and acquaintances of Lisa have also been offered a polygraph test. They would not tell me exactly how many uh, have taken it or, or if any have taken it at this point. Joining us tonight is a very special guest. It is Melanie Greenberg. This is the missing mom, Lisa Stebbick's cousin. Melanie, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Nancy, for this opportunity to get Lisa's picture out there to a national audience. We're hoping someone will see her and have some new tip or lead to give to the Plainfield Police. They need something new to go on, even if it seems like an inconsequential fact. Please call the Plainfield Police and bring Lisa home safely to her children and her family. Tonight with us, Melanie Greenberg. This is Lisa's cousin. I, I wish you peace. I wish that you find her alive. I, I can't even imagine going through what you're not not knowing if she's dead or alive or possibly alive somewhere, uh, needing medical attention or needing help. Tell me the last time you saw her. Well, uh, as cousins in a large family, our last big family gathering was um, in December at a holiday gathering. Um, her sisters are extremely close to Lisa, and they last spoke with her on the Thursday before the Monday that she was missing. They had a lengthy conversation. Lisa was in very good spirits. Um, and, you know, it just... It's a total mystery to us, Nancy. We just well, can't understand because Melody, there's no way that she would leave her children.